guys, my name is Oina Mala Okewo from Para TV. We are in the market to meet the market women to know their struggles, to see their hustle, how they go back and forth every day from their house to the market. Join me as we meet the market women. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. What's your name? My name is Amon Glow. Okay, so what do you sell? What's your business? I do with skincare, I do with um, queries, I sell makeup. I sell a lot of things that pertain to women. Okay, so how long have you been into this business? About 15 years now. Okay, so what's your experience like? Mm, things were okay before. When we started this business, our makeup business was, you can still buy a lot of makeup uh, items with little amount of money and get a lot of gain. But nowadays, things are very, very hard. This country, things are very, very, very hard. Like the, let me just start with the small pencil that we buy by 100 naira before now, like 200, 300 naira. So things are triple or double now. So the guy is not buying it at all. So at what's all. your experience like coming from home to here? <sighs> so stressful. The transport fare, everything is so stressful. But we, you know, Nigeria are suffering and smiling. We are still coping. How is electricity here? Ah. <laughs> That one at Big Hill. That one I was past. I think for the past five years now we have light in this community. So there's no light at all. It's off. So what do you want the government? Ah, a lot. A lot. No but one out of it, eh? We want good road. The road to my house eh, is the worst road ever. Even to air fire is worse. So we need lights. Because when there is light, a lot of things will go forward. A lot of things will move forward. You know, if you want to do things, it's very easy for you to invest in a lot of things with lights. But when there's no lights, it's very hard. It's very hard. So we need lights. Then we need them to help us with food. People are suffering. If this food is okay, a lot of things will go on in this country. There's no food. There's no money. There's no light. As everything goes die, it goes dead. So we need a lot of changes. A lot from them to help us because a lot of people are suffering out there a lot so why do you like this business? why do you think this business is unique because i love fashion i love anything that have to do with fashions i love anything that have to do with beauty a lot have to do with sexual life i love beauty that's one thing about me so what motivated you you see your mom that was doing it or you just woke up and decided to do that business no not my mom my mom is a nurse when my dad is a taxi driver but let me say, it's part of someone, it's part of me. I just wake up all of a sudden and tell my husband, like, I, I love, I love to go into beauty business and he's a fully support of it and I thank you for that. So, just what I like. Okay. So, what advice can you give the younger girls out there, the upcoming girls? Mm, number one, follow your heart. People may just tell you this is not possible, but it is possible if you follow your arts and be always positive. Because things in this country is always negative. If you tell people what to do, they're like, ah, it's very hard. Not it's not hard. Even to drink all night water in this country is very risky. So just go for it. And I believe with time, you achieve it. Do you think they should go to school or just do business or go to school and do business? Both. Because in anything, you have to be educated. Even when you set your water, when you're educated, I think you'll be more better than illiterate. So it's good to go to school because education is the best. No matter how they don't make education in this country so important or so, but you still need to be educated in so anything. How are you with the business? Is it going well? Is it much like doing? It's doing well because we have a lot of people doing this business now, you know. But it's still, they are still coping. I know the Nigeria things, but it's still far better than some other business because it does not expire. So it doesn't matter how long you keep it to the shop, you still have the customer. And moreover, right, some things goes and come back. Some fashion goes and come back. So even though you go and come back, you can still sell your product. So that's why I love it. It's not as well and things. Okay, so how do you say? Do you import it or you go to the markets to buy it? Like, how do you get it here? No, I have not get it to importing level, but I just go to the market and get the little I want. Which of the markets? We have trade fair, we have Lagos Island. It depends on where you want to so get you your grace. Yeah, we do. Do you have a personal car or you take public transport? I have my purpose. Most of the time I do for public and because of the traffic and the road. Okay, okay. So you generally how do you categorize your business? How do you say what is unique about it among other businesses? Mm, because when we see beauty is going far in this country now. 
even a baby of a year when you see them doing photo shoots you see the costume the beauty so everything that has to do with beauty i love it so and i think it's going beyond what we expect because everybody follows celebrity because of more we are because of their beauty maybe their makeup their hair their wears their hair their, their dresses so beauty is a lot so i love beauty so that's why it's far better than a lot of things that i know after food i think beauty is a nice option for me you're welcome. You're welcome. Are you too much? Okay, guys, I think you have learned one or two from the market women. You have heard their hustle, their struggle. Thank you for staying with us. Please don't forget to like and subscribe on our YouTube channel, Para TV. I show you my favorite girl, Oida Malao Have a great day.